Colonoscopy, although it is an extremely safe procedure when done in the right hands, does carry some complications potentially which could be serious. Colonoscopy in the right hands is an extremely safe procedure. It's an outpatient procedure done under sedation, should be painless, should be easy, and should be without difficulty. There are, however, potential complications. There's always the most feared complication, which is perforation of the colon. This occurs probably less than one in 10,000 amongst good uh, physicians doing the procedures. Uh, it uh, is when the colon is torn by the colonoscope. This can be fixed at the time of colonoscopy by clipping the colon shut, usually without further incident, but oftentimes patients have to go to surgery to repair this. It is, as I said, extremely unusual. Taking out polyps, however, uh, increases risk of the procedure as well. Small polyps are removed by just pinching them off with an alligator forceps, completely safe. There's no risk of bleeding, no risk of hurting the colon. Larger polyps are removed with snares, which are wire loops, which we lasso around the base of the polyp and remove it either with cautery for larger polyps or without cautery uh, or burning if the polyps are very small. These are very safe, but they do have the potential, if the polyps are very large, of burning too deeply and causing a perforation. Uh, generally, that's a late complication where actually the patient will feel good for several hours, go home, and then develop severe abdominal pain and have to rush back to the hospital and have this repaired, usually surgically. If you remove a polyp with cautery, uh, it leaves behind a burn mark, and this burn will turn into a scab, and it takes 14 days for it to heal. At some point during that 14 days, like all scabs, this scab is going to fall off, and it does have the potential of bleeding at that time. Uh, this potential is increased if a patient reverts back to taking aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs after a colonoscopy. We tell patients who have cautery, do not take these drugs, and the risk is minimized. That risk is still very small, but it, it is, like all other complications, potentially serious. And what I like to tell my patients is that after a colonoscopy, you should feel fine. I've had three myself, very little discomfort, if any discomfort afterwards. You go home, you eat a meal, you should feel like nothing happened. You should actually feel quite good because hopefully you've been given good news and uh, you're back to eating and your life carries on as normal. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to myColonCancerCoach.org.